we are going to be determining the number of x-intercepts. If I have a quadratic equation, which is a parabola, it may cross my x-axis two times, which means I have two x-intercepts, or two roots. It may come down, touch it, and turn around. In this case, I will only have one real answer, or it may never cross the x-axis, which means that I have no real roots. Sometimes people like to say that I have two non-real or two imaginary roots. Now we use a quadratic formula to find the roots of a quadratic equation. And within this quadratic formula, we have the discriminant. The discriminant, b squared minus 4ac, is the part of the quadratic formula that is under the radical. So the discriminant is what will help me determine the number of solutions. Okay, if the discriminant is equal to zero, then I will only have one real solution, only one root. When I'm looking for the roots using the quadratic formula, if I have zero underneath this radical, whether I go plus zero or minus zero, it's not going to change. I will only have one root. If the discriminant is positive, greater than zero, then I will have to go plus the radical, and I will have to also evaluate using the negative radical. I will get two answers, or two roots. And if the discriminant is less than zero, meaning it's negative, I will have a negative underneath the radical. Well, a negative underneath a square root, I will have two imaginary solutions, or non-real solutions. State the value of the discriminant and determine the nature of the roots. I have the quadratic equation, 2x squared minus 10x plus 11 equals 0. Everything is on one side. I need to find a, b, and c. a is the coefficient of my squared term. b is the coefficient of my x to the first term. And c is the constant. Let's find the discriminant. It will be b squared, make sure you put that in parentheses to avoid careless errors, minus 4 times a times c. That will equal a positive 100 minus 88. The value of the discriminant is 12. 12 is a positive number, so the discriminant is greater than zero. That means that I will have two real roots. I typed our quadratic equation into my graphing calculator, and sure enough, when I graph it, my parabola does cross in two places. I have two real roots. Let's try another problem. x squared minus 10x plus 25 equals zero. They do not want me to solve this. They only want to know the value of the discriminant and the nature of the roots. Everything is on one side. My a is equal to 1, b is negative 10, and c is 25. The discriminant will be b squared minus 4 times a times c. That will be 100 minus 100, which will equal 0. The value of my discriminant is 0. That means I will have one real root. And sure enough, when I type this into my calculator, my parabola only touches the x-axis in one place. There is only one real root. One more problem. We want to know the value of the discriminant of r squared plus 3r plus 4 equals 0. Everything is on one side. My a is equal to 1, b is equal to 3, and c is equal to 4. The discriminant is b squared minus 4 times a times c. My discriminant is negative 7. It is less than 0. And this means that there are no real roots. You could say there are two non-real or two imaginary roots. And when I typed it into my calculator, it is true. It never crosses the x-axis.